You are listening to Christian Audio's production of Four Things God Wants You to Know. This tract is read by Adam Werner. This audio production is copyright 2011 and published by Christian Audio under an agreement with Good News Tracks, copyright 2006. No portion of this recording may be reproduced for any reason without prior written consent from Christian Audio. Please visit christianaudio.com, facebook.com slash christianaudio, or twitter.com slash christianaudio to offer your impressions of this work and to explore additional titles. 1. You need to be saved from sin's penalty. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 6. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. The wages of sin is death. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Each of us will give an account of himself to God. Romans chapter 14, verse 12. It is appointed for man to die once, and after that comes judgment. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. 2. You cannot save yourself. Unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John chapter 3, verse 3. He saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy. Titus chapter 3, verse 5. For whoever keeps the whole law but fails in one point has become accountable for all of it. James chapter 2, verse 10. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John chapter 14, verse 6. 3. Jesus has provided for your salvation. For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. For our sake, he, God, made him, Jesus, to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John chapter 3, verse 16. 4. You can be saved today. Whoever hears my word and believes has passed from death to life. John chapter 5, verse 24. Behold, now is the time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Your part. Believe. Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. Acts chapter 16, verse 31. Repent. Turn from your sins. Unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Luke chapter 13, verse 3. Confess your sin to Jesus. For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. Confess Jesus before others. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans chapter 10, verse 9. Trust him to keep you. He is able to keep you from stumbling. Jude, verse 24. That's what God wants you to know. Thank you for listening to this recording of Four Things God Wants You to Know. This tract was read by Adam Werner. Please visit christianaudio.com, facebook.com slash christianaudio, or twitter.com slash christianaudio to offer your impressions of this work and to explore additional titles.